In this video, we are going to look at unrestricted file upload vulnerability. The outline of the video is first what is unrestricted file upload. Second, demo by using DVWA and at last, third, hacker one reports. Start your XAM and run the services MySQL database and Apache web server. Then go to your browser, open your DVWA and change your DVWA security to low for learning purpose. Click on file upload and you will see this screen. This is the page where person upload the file by clicking on browse and go to its own system. I have seen this hundred of times on different websites. Now I will tell you what is unrestricted file upload. Suppose a web developer did not restricted on the extension of file that is going to be uploaded by user then this vulnerability arises. For say this is a form to upload a picture and as we know the extension of picture can be GIF or JPG or some other extension. But what if I upload some code file for say code.php instead of image file. If web application allowed to upload a code file then this is the vulnerable point. If I open editor and write some HTML file which say I'm a code file not an image file let's save it on our download folder by extension code.html now let's try to upload it if the file uploads successfully then this is vulnerable to unrestricted file upload this is happening because web developer did not restrict the extension of file let's click on upload and you can see it is uploaded successfully so we know the destination where file successfully uploaded let's try to visit there as i click enter you can see the code is executed so this is the unrestricted file upload now what could be the impact of unrestricted file upload an attacker can upload a php file which is nothing but i shall give you a lot of functionality like seeing a file like creating a file like renaming a file editing a file so this could impact a website to be defaced an attacker can deface the website using this vulnerability also let's see how let's create a new file and start it with php so what this line is doing it is taking a parameter cmd and executing whatever be the command is passed to this parameter for a uh, learning purpose let's open a terminal so this is the terminal if i type ls command then this will show me what are the files presented in the directory so this is a command okay so this php file is going to do same save it in our download folder and name it shell shell.php fine upload this file from upload section click on browse and go to shell.php and open it then upload because there is no restriction on extension of file then this file will get upload successfully now it is uploaded here let's open this now give the command cmd is equal to ls as you can see it will show the files which are present in the directory now let's go back to the upload file and let's create a file which say I'm a deface page and save it now again upload it because I make change in code file then I'll upload that code file again which is a HTML page open it and upload it now let's try to visit there see it is a deface page now the task is we have to copy this page from here to the main directory now 
whenever I visit DVWA, it open their index page. Fine. And this is our index page. If I rename this deface page as an index page and I copy it to main directory, then whenever we open this website, the deface page will open. And this is how a website get defaced. Let's try. So again, shell.php command is equal to first of all i am renaming the file cp code dot html to code to index dot php let's move this index dot html index dot php to one directory back which is from uploads to hackable then another directory back from hackable to dvwa master and press enter now let's try to visit again our website and you can see the website gets defaced and this is one possibility of this bug so this is a very critical bug now let's see real life reports so this is malicious file upload bug and you can see through this link person able to upload a php file see the image it is calling a php info function which shows the configuration of php so this was resolved and was reported to Square and bounties of $2,000. The another report is reported to Informatica and it was also resolved. And the third report is reported to Moneybird and the bounties of $100. I hope you get what I was trying to explain. So this is it for this video. Thank you and have a nice day.